everyone welcome back to the channel and in today's vlog I will be making a memory pillow so um, I was asked by my auntie um, because quite recently I've lost my uncle who I thought the world of but you know put that to the side uh, I do make some things on sewing machines, not a lot because I'm not the best, but I make memory pillows, that's what I call them anyway. So it's a cushion and then I'll put a shirt on it that belongs to that person. And it's just, it's not a morbid thing, it's just so something for you to remember the person by. So this shirt was his favourite shirt and it also has the tie. So I'm going to show you how I make it with the help of the dotster. If you are new to the channel please like and subscribe as it helps us immensely and yeah hope you find this vlog useful if you do have any questions put them in the comments message me on Instagram all that goodness so this is the shirt we're gonna put onto this cushion and we're gonna show you how to make it Okay, so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to make a stencil or a template of the neck part of the cushion because we're going to need to add an extra bit of fabric here to cover uh, part of the cushion because otherwise you're going to see this through the collar. And then we start by measuring the cushion just to make sure that the shirt is big enough to cover it. This shirt had um, a pleat at the back so we had to pin the pleat down just to make sure it was all in place so when we sewed the sides up it wouldn't actually catch so when it was stitched we had to have it all flat and neat so little dot is helping me with this because this shirt has to be spot on so I remove the sleeves of the shirt as these won't be needed so just to make it easier to pin the shirt I remove the sleeves do this on both sleeves put them away like so you then have to get the shirt flat always keep it flat and neat you can't have any kinks in it so you get your measurement from the cushion you then transfer that to the shirt mark it with Taylor's chalk all the way along and then once you've done that you will be able to cut the bottom of the shirt off always allow extra it's always better to trim it than cut it too short so here I am just double checking the length making sure it's all right as they say, measure twice, cut once. There I am, removing the bottom of the shirt. Try not to slice dot his hand off either. Don't want blood on it as well, that'd make a mess, wouldn't it? But I do use the extra parts of the shirt later on as you will see so put that to one side as it's not needed at the moment so once you've cut the sleeves off and the bottom I'm just getting the cushion into the shirt just to make sure that it fits all right and this way you can actually pin the sleeves or where the sleeves were you can pin them shut but as we'll see in a minute I change this I'm just getting the cushion into the shirt just to make sure it's not being cut too short and then go to pin the sleeves but you will see that that doesn't really matter. So as I was pinning the sleeves I realised 
I just could not get this flat. It has to be absolutely perfect. So what I do now is, as you can see, we're struggling to get it flat and neat. It ha the main thing, it has to be flat. So what I decide to do is cut up the side of the shirt. But I would recommend doing this after you've removed the sleeves because otherwise it'll just make it more complicated. So once I've cut the sides of the shirt, it now lays flat. So I'm just going to pin it all so it's straight and level. So I'm just pinning it so it's easier. Always pin it if you're going to use a sewing machine because otherwise when you're sewing the fabric will move and your seams won't be even. Okay, so we've pinned it all and we're going to stitch down the sides, down the sides, whack the cushion in, hope it fits, but we've had to pin these here because this pleat at the back is just annoying. So I've had a uh, little dotty helping me with this because I had to have it absolutely perfect as it was my uncle's shirt. So once all your pins are in, you're happy with the length, you've measured it, sew up the sides. Just do the sides first because you're going to need to put, you're going to have to put the cushion back into the shirt just to make sure it's the right width. If not, just trim it. As you can see here, the shirt was a little bit too long for the cushion. So I've just taken some off the bottom, but like I said, it's better to trim as you go than put too much off in one go. So I remove the, the extra bit on the bottom. I repin it because what I'm going to do is I'm then going to stitch along the bottom. So we were going to leave a gap to put the cushion in, but I remembered it's a shirt, so we could just open the buttons on the front, pop the shirt in. Boosh. So I'm going to stitch along here. So now I'm putting the cushion back into the shirt just to make sure that the fit is um, correct. The trickiest part with that was the pleat on the back, just keeping that flat and straight was uh, a bit of a nightmare. But as you can see, there's still extra on the bottom of this shirt, so I'm going to have to take it off again and cut it again. There we are. I'm just going to measure that just so I take an even amount off along the bottom of the shirt. Okay. 
and then once I've done that I'm then going to stitch all the way across it again. And here we are for its final fitting, putting the cushion back into the shirt and as you will see it fits like an absolute glove. This is because I've taken a little bit off at a time and not just gone in all gun hole, chopped it off too short. So yep, very happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim the excess off, um, obviously leaving probably about an inch hem whichever you feel safe with and on your corners if you cut the diagonal piece off on the corner perfect now we need to stitch something inside here to hide the cushion but we have plenty of material and we've got the stencil from before. This is a template that you need. You see it fit there, but then you've got to add on for your hem, for your hem, for turning over. So now for the template, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this template to cut a bit of fabric for the top where the collar is. But at the end you'll see we uh, do something a little bit different. Look at that scissor action. Beautiful. A nice bit of sewing b-roll there for you. When you do this, just get a square of material, put it over, just catch it down front and back and just catch the back with a little stitch to hold it at the back. But that is done. I'll get it in the light. So here is the final result. Pretty chuffed. Awesome. So here is the pillow looking pretty cool and um, absolutely love how it turned out and so glad that we got to keep the tie on it and just everything so yeah if you want any help making these just let me know but i don't think the morbid some people do but i don't i've made them for like a couple of people now and yeah i like them but what i have done as well is I've also made these cushions for my cousins. So it's got dad on it because this shirt was his favourite shirt. So I've made them all a little cushion each. So just something to remember him by. And so on one side of the keyring, I have a picture of him in the actual shirt. And then on the other side, I have a piece of his shirt. There goes so that's a piece of his shirt that is the same as the cushions. So I just thought it's a little brucey bonus for my cousins. Yeah, so I just thought it'd be a nice thing to go with the little cushions so it's a nice little set. Um, I'm gonna put them in little boxes for them. I'm meeting them very soon. So they don't know they're getting these. My auntie just thinks she's getting this cushion. So yeah. It was good, it was sad, but I'm glad I've done it. So yeah, like I say, if you have any questions about the cushion, um, just leave it in the comments. Um, leave anything you want really in the comments and I'll read it. We do reply, it's not always straight away, but we do reply. So yeah, there you go. Memory cushion, really easy to make. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you in the next vlog.